tell us what you do, um, you know, part-time artist, but we're also your professional artist um, as well as, uh, but tell us about your background and then we can um, talk about why you decided to create art during this 21 day of quarantine. Yeah, right. So uh, I'm Benoit. Most people call me Ben here. I'm French. Uh, I've been living in Hong Kong for this is our sixth year and two years in Shanghai uh, prior to that. Um, and uh, I've been serious. So I, I my, my day job is in uh, 2011. In 2011, I started my own uh, consulting company in uh, telecom strategy. So that's kind of the day job as an independent consultant. And uh, in 20, or around the same period, a little before that, um, I got serious about photography. My wife uh, bought me my first DSLR for, as a present. Um, and I got really, really into it. And then in 2013, I discovered film and uh, analog printing. And I really liked it. And gradually since then, so that the kind of eight years since I got into film photography, film kind of took over from digital. So for most of my output now, I'm working on film uh, with just the occasional uh, digital project here and there. And so this time I, I got to thinking as the, as the quarantine loomed, you know, I need to do, I need to find themes for my self-portraits rather than just um, you know, do a random photo at the end of the day. Right. Um, and since it was 21 days, um, I, I thought I'd do three sets of seven. So the first set was the seven dwarves uh, from Disney. The second set was um, the seven sins from Dante's Inferno. And the third set is the seven days of the week, which is what I'm currently doing. Right. So basically the routine is like each night just before bed around 10 p.m. I'll um, I'll set things up to to take the self portrait and try to, you know, during the day, I like the mind wanders around and, you know, because, OK, what could I do? And then basically when the evening comes, you try to execute on that on that uh, on that vision. But it's forced me into a slightly different uh, creative angle. And also, um, it's actually really hard to do self-portraits. It's something I'd never really tried. So I never really realized the challenges of, of doing that. So this is the first one that I did. I'm actually quite happy with this one. I think it's a nice image. Uh, so this was sleepy. I mean, that was an easy one. It was my first night in quarantine. I didn't want to do something too complicated. So I just focused on the face and you know, kind of quiet expression, which I guess was easier to achieve um, on day one than it is on day 18 or whatever right, I'm on. Right, right. Okay. <laughs> it's harder to be okay. Right. So this one I'm, I'm quite happy with. Uh, uh, that was that was Doc. Uh, so I, I brought some old books back with me that I that I bought um, on a in, in a flea market in, in France. Um, yeah, this one it's okay, but I, I feel like uh, if, I'd, if I'd had a bit more time in a, or if I'd taken a bit more time, I could have probably made it better. There's a point where, you know, when you're on the 25th take, you're like, okay, this is good enough. But, uh, you know, so, you know, in a proper artistic context, you would keep going until you got the perfect shot. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, so this was happy. So like, interestingly, a lot of people said, ooh, that looks like a very melancholy happy, but I wanted to do a kind of, you know, quiet or content feel rather than a, a mm -hmm. you know, a ridiculously joyful face. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's, that's my happy, basically. Okay. You, know, is that, you can only be so happy in quarantine. Maybe that's what this image is saying. Quiet happiness. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, so then this one, this one was a bit of fun. I wanted to do something a little bit gross for Sneezy, so um, I I used the the uh, dishwashing fluid that they gave us to to wash our plates, uh, which I sprayed all over my hands as if it was snot, and of course it wasn't snot. 
So uh, then this was uh, dopey. Uh, I think uh, the expression is suitably dopey on this one. Mm -hmm. it's, not a, it's not a beautiful image, but it's, uh, yeah, it was fun. Uh, and then this is grumpy. So I just, I just went for, I, uh, I actually, this is very much when, after I, I had the image and I was looking at it, I think this is very much the lighting that they had in that uh, famous Bohemian Rhapsody uh, Queen video where mm -hmm. if they're all, all the four of them are singing. And it's like this very, a very uh, moody, shady uh, lighting. Right. Um, so yeah, that was grumpy. And then the last one was uh, bashful. Oh yes, yes. Yeah. So they they gave us a, a, a plant like uh, on day I don't know six or seven. Yeah. Uh, and so I thought I'd do a kind of a romantic bashful mm -hmm. um, using the plant. Uh, and then I chucked the plant out because I'm allergic to pollen and it was really, <laughs> it was really making me sneeze all the time. Well, that could have been your sneezy, uh, uh, promise. That's true. <laughs> it could have been. Yeah. But then I, I'm not sure people would have made the connection on the image alone, but, uh, right, right, right. Yeah. All right. No. So that was the seven dwarves. Those uh, are great. I love the lighting. I mean, I think you just did a great job. I mean, it's almost, you know, that, that the way you lit it. So that was the first series, and then uh, then the second series was the sin. So I, I was very happy with that first one. <laughs> uh, I thought that was really funny. I was trying to that my initial uh, instinct was a bit more uh, disturbing, but I couldn't make it work. I was I I cleaned a lot of the coins that I had in my in my wallet, uh, and I wanted to I replace my teeth with with coins but I couldn't get them to stay there like in the, <laughs> by the time because like I'm, I'm handling the, the you know, right, 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 the right. And you can't really so by the time the photo was happening, like everything right. had fallen out this, or, this, or this I was half swollen yes. and it didn't work. So I, 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 instead I did this with the eyes and, and that worked quite nicely. And it turned out that uh, just before we left, um, just before I left, I went and got a little bit of money out at the, at the ATM um, and stupid ATM gave, gave me a thousand Hong Kong dollars. Oh, I see, I see. Which, which you can never use because no one wants right. to give you change. Right, on but it looks good in the, in the photo. Yeah, exactly, and so I thought, I, this is the one I've got to roll. And so if you zoom, right. you can see. So I had to position it so that you could see it's the- A thousand, you know, yeah, okay. Thousand on there. I mean, it's a little detail that probably I'm the only one to see, but it was fun. All right, so yeah. there's two versions of gluttony. So this okay. is the first one. one. Okay. And this is this is the second Button one. Two, okay. All right. Oh, this is funny. It's just, it's, oh, I haven't even funny. noticed. Yeah, this one had a bit of a Roman feel to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and the other one, one is, I like I like this one better as a composition. But this is yeah, this is also very Adam and Eve, uh, the apple. So yeah, there's, yeah, yeah. There's a yeah, there's very good. element. Okay. It. All right. So then uh, then this was sloth. And uh, I was trying to figure out because I'd done sleepy the week before, right? And so mm -hmm. uh, I was trying to figure out. I didn't want to, one idea was to basically like spray all kinds of crap on a t-shirt and, and make it look like it's all really dirty. But right. then I would, have, I would have had to live with that t-shirt for the Yeah, you would have to, yeah. Things. So I didn't want to do that. But this, this captures it. Yeah, the lazy. So yeah, I thought this is, and this is a bit of a change of pace as well. So uh, so that was, that was nice. Um, that's, that's probably the more, RT one that I did uh, all together right. and I thought okay so envy is not it's not like the traditional way the sin is structured it's envy because we want to be out of here yeah yep. Um, yeah and and I like the idea of the reflection because it kind of tells that, you that's that capture that it yeah. you can want it all you want but it's going to be looking back at you and saying you're not going out yeah we're, we're 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 you know solitary confinement yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Uh, so that was envy. Uh, this one was a lot of fun to make as well. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, wrath. Uh, what what weapons do I have? You know, in my hands here in quarantine. Well, I have forks. That's about. You know, even the knives are less scary than the forks. So, uh, yeah. I thought, okay, let's do that. And I like the symmetry in this. And if I had to do it again, I'd probably light it a little bit differently so that the fork on the left would have a bit more light on it. And so that was that was gluttony. And then then was 
that that was really tricky because like everyone was saying oh i want to see lust i want to see lust and of course you know what go through people's minds and of course i wasn't going to do something like you know raunchy but i i so it was i oh i yeah that one played in my mind a lot i was like how am i gonna how am i gonna do this and i I was watching, I don't know, some documentary on Netflix. There's a, there's a, a, there's a, it's not a very serious documentary, but it's kind of a show on the, on movie cliches. And, and there was a cliche, there was a section about the sexual cliches and particularly how, um, how movies express orgasm through metaphors rather than obviously show an orgasm. And one of them was like the, the classic shot of the hand that that crumples on the sheet suddenly and mm -hmm. so I tried that that was my first attempt but what works in that in movies is the movement it's the fact that the hand suddenly kind of you know spasms uh, and I couldn't do that so I, I tried to do something a little bit similar um, which which was this one and uh and someone actually commented on my facebook that this looked more like i had eaten all the apples in the previous image and, and and i wasn't feeling too well so you know maybe uh maybe indigestion and and uh and orgasm are, are more similar than we think right. i don't know all right but still i mean it's your interpretation right so exactly it, yeah, exactly but, right. uh and then uh and then so that was not quite complete seven sins i'm gonna all right to you have that. to go back and do pride okay yeah. and um uh, and then uh for the third series the days of the week i i looked into the symbolism of the days of the week and uh so interestingly they're not exactly identical in different languages so uh i latched on to the latin names of the week so the french ones uh which are all uh roman gods basically mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. And so I started, and I also decided that I wanted to, so because I was in this kind of um, Greek slash Roman mood, uh, I, I used a sheet uh, as, as the only prop, basically. And uh, so this was Saturday. So Saturday is Saturn, and Saturn is the god of the dead and, and the underworld. Uh, so I went for something, you know, a little bit like... Um, creepy with uh, the eyes uh, basically so that was uh, Saturday and then Sunday oh yeah um, the, the saintly the godly Sunday yeah and actually that wasn't what I had in mind but that's how everybody read it so I went along with it I was trying to do something sunny uh, for oh, Sunday. okay uh, so I, I actually this is the only photo where I used two flashes and I had the second flash just behind my head and I wanted to oh, see, light see. cresting on the site um but uh but yeah everybody went oh angelic saint peter and okay fair enough that's sunday that works for sunday as well so yes that works for sunday uh so and that's where i'm at so uh tonight is monday so the moon i'm gonna i'm gonna be thinking oh, monday's the moon okay so you have five days to do so people have to come back and see yeah we'll monday's the moon march. tuesday is march wednesday is mercury uh thursday is juno that's gonna be tricky um friday is venus vendredi and then i'm free well i look forward to seeing it in person when i'm out i will check out the blue lotus because i love to i want to see it in, yeah. You know, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. In, in 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 the real size so thank you this was great because i think the the idea for this um our quarantine diary is, you know, we can be quite creative um, and do, you know, interesting things um, during this time, uh, you know, so, but thank you for sharing that with us. And, and also uh, when we would go and check out Blue Lotus and then I was check out your, your uh, Instagram and, uh, but, you know, I look forward to welcome you to Asia Society in person when you're out next weekend. Yeah, awesome. No, you're going to be busy, uh, but uh, but it's been everyone great. who's still in those 21 days, you know, hang in there, keep yourself busy, and uh, do some fun there stuff. Like there and, is light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Yeah, and and also I just want to stress this. I mean, the 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 WhatsApp group for me has been a lifesaver, and and so I I, I um, urge people to find the equivalent group or whatever hotel they're in. And actually reach out if they don't feel too well because we're all in this together so um yeah 
thanks so true. to everyone on the group. It's really- I know, it's, and it, they yeah. have, we've gotten some great comments. In fact, I think people are looking forward to your Monday, your, the finishing up your series. So, and we'll hope to share it as well. And I'm sure you'll be sharing it on your um, Instagram as well, because we wanna see what you come up with uh, for the next five days. Uh, so this serve as a teaser, um, but right. thank you. All right. Awesome. Well, thanks for having me on and uh, and look, look forward to meeting with you in person as well. <laughs> yes, yes, it will happen. We'll do a, a real, real happy hour when, when we're right. out of here. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks. Bye, Alice. Bye.